Today's video is how to reverse a control surface that is going the wrong direction. So let's get started. Setting up an aircraft, sometimes we run into a control surface or function going the opposite direction. Some manufacturers call this reversing the channel. In HTX, we call this inverting the channel. Let's say when we give it right aileron, we get left, and left aileron, we get right, or up elevator, we get down and down elevator we get up we need to invert those channels i'm going to push the model button we're going to click on the outputs channel one would be aileron channel two would be elevator anything else you need to invert such as your rudder on channel four or if you got a retractable gear on five this process works the same on those as well so we're going to push on channel one Click on edit and you'll notice when I move this stick to the right, we get a positive value. And when I move it to the left, we get a negative value. We need a negative value to the right and a positive value to the left. You will notice we've got an inverted button. Click the inverted button and you will notice that we have a inverted icon at the top next to the monitor. Now, when we go right, we get a negative value. And when we go to the left, we get a positive value. So now we have corrected our ailerons working in the opposite direction. We're going to go into channel two and do the same thing for our elevator. Now, obviously, you just do this for what surface is opposite. So if it's just the aileron or just the elevator or both, you just do whichever one needs to be corrected. You'll notice that when we give it up elevator, we get negative. And when we go down elevator, we get positive. So we're going to invert this channel as well, and you will notice that we get the icon at the top to let you know that it's been inverted. Now we've got positive and negative. One last thing I want to show you. Let's back up to the previous menu. Now we're in the main output screen again. You will notice that it has the cross arrows at the right of the value of 1500. That shows you that you have those channels inverted without actually having to go in to the channel to see the tab. So just remember, like channel 4, we didn't invert that one. There is no two arrows that are crossed, but channel 1 and 2 has that logo, so they've been inverted. You learned something new today or found this video informative? Go ahead and push the like button below. If you want to see future TX16S tutorials, subscribe to the channel while you're here. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you on the next one.